What's going on everybody? We're gonna start this video off a little different. So while I was sitting at home doing the whole quarantine thing, I was really bored and I was like, dude, I haven't skateboarded it in forever. Like I literally think since like 2008. So it's been like, or maybe 2010. So it's been about 10 years, about somewhere in there, I think. So I was just about to skateboard and I was like, dude, why are these like this? Like these bottom bushings, they're supposed to have washers on them and they don't, and then they pop out the sides like this. So, got some of these washers. I'm gonna go ahead and throw this washer on and this bushing on. I think that'll solve those issues. And you may be wondering like, dude, this is so random. What does anything have to do about a skateboard? Well, some of y'all don't know, which most of y'all probably don't know, unless you're my family. When I was in sixth grade, I actually got hit by a car on a skateboard. <laughs> now you're probably wondering like, dude, how did you even do that? Like, didn't your mom tell you not to play in the street? And you know, she did, but, oh man. But when I was younger, I used to be a hoodlum and I used to skateboard and bike and scooter and whatnot. And we lived probably like 10, 15 minutes at a town and school had just started. So I was like, dude, I would like to skateboard after school. I don't want to ride the bus. I need to bring my skateboard. So I would skateboard early to school and I'd go skate before school started. So I skateboarded to school and I got hit by a car when I was in sixth grade. I, uh, I mean, it's kind of funny. I laugh about it, but I mean, it kind of wasn't funny. <laughs> but I broke my leg like all the way through. I had to have like external pins on on my leg. And then I also dislocated my shoulder and got like a whole bunch of road rash on my right side because I don't know, I was, I was happened to be skating like with my hands on top of my head like this. So that way I could like open up my, uh, my lungs better. It's like a breathe better. And uh, I guess like when I hit, cause she hit me sideways cause I was skateboarding, like my arm took most of the impact of actually like hitting the hood. It's kind of crazy actually to think about because that morning I was gonna take my bike, but there's something wrong with my bike. So I was like, screw it, I'll just skateboard instead. So I can only imagine what the outcome would have been if I would have rode my bike instead. She was going probably like 45, 50 when she hit me. My uh, my friend's my friend's mom's boyfriend was coming the other way and actually like saw me get hit. Said I did like three backflips. So yeah, if y'all wanting. Something y'all didn't know about me, but something y'all didn't know. Anyways, I after that, I really wasn't um, interested in skateboarding much after that. I wasn't like necessarily afraid to skateboard, but I just kind of stopped doing it as much, started playing video games more, and uh, started doing like more like weightlifting and sports and stuff. So, um, anyways, it's kind of funny the backstory on that board too. Like the board, nothing happened to the board when I got hit, and so I just gave it to my friend for free. And he was actually just riding it casually, going like up his little curb to get into his driveway. Like he wasn't doing a trick or nothing. And he fell backwards and uh, broke his uh, his shoulder blade, which is so crazy. So, and then after that, he just broke the board. I was like, yeah, it's probably like a cursed board or something. Oh. See how this feels now that it's tightened up. Probably wondering too if I can do any tricks. Well, the other day, Kyle and Wyatt were here and I actually did a kickflip. I don't know if I'll be able to do it, but I can still ollie pretty decent. Ah. I don't know if I can do a kickflip. That's the main reason why I got it too, was trying to get back in shape a little bit. Just doing those little bit of tricks. Making me out of breath already. Anyways, I'll stop skateboarding. Oh my goodness, and we'll uh, get to working on these floors once I catch my breath. Man, I think later tonight when it cools off, there's a skate park just like right up the road. It's not very big, but I wanna go, just go ride on it for a little bit, have some fun, see if I can bust my ass. Just gonna hit the tops of the bars really quick with some rattle can before I put the floors in there. Just so I can get it to dry really quick. While I wait for it to dry, I'm gonna mess with the floors and like clean them up around the edges where I'm gonna weld them back in. Y'all know we had to stop for a quick lunch break. I was starving. And Carlos, my baby girl over here. Yeah, Carlos calls me. He's like, hey, dude, I'm in town. 
You want something from Subway? I was like, dang, dude, you read my mind. So Carl's got me some Subway. Did make some progress over here on one of the floors. I accidentally, like, <laughs> it's, it's in there, but I, I cut this side way too much on accident. I don't know what happened. We'll just, uh, I mean, it's going to get sheet metal back in the carpet, put back on it, so we'll just don't don't look at that part. <laughs> Not that bad, bro. Yeah, a so a bit of seam sealer, you're good. Yeah, dude. I mean, as I mean, realistically, that's what's gonna happen with it. So I'm working on the other side, but cross brought the food, so we're gonna eat really quick, and then I'm gonna get back to it. Oh man, it's starting to look like a car again. Just getting them kind of tacked in place everywhere. Got a decent gap right here. I don't know why. I tried fixing it. There really wasn't much that I could do. Same with on the other side, as you can see, I messed up that notch over there pretty bad. So it's all good though. I was, I was uh. Just sitting in here on my phone relaxing because I'm so tired and like kind of getting an idea of how much we lower the steering um, shaft or steering column needs to come down and how far I need to extend it out and same thing with like how far I need to extend the pedals and the shifter and all kinds of stuff just sitting in there. So Sitting in there thinking about how fun it's going to be to actually do some race car stuff here hopefully soon. I'm just like, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm excited. I'm not trying to complain but I am just tired. Like, I, I just really want to get it done, but at the same time, like, it is killing me. But, slowly but surely, tomorrow I'm going to go up to Fort Collins and get some more sheet metal, some 22 gauge. Uh, because this stuff isn't really, like, structural. And I was kind of thinking about it as well. Like, this is all, where I cut through is all, like, single sheet, uh, like, single layer sheet metal. So, there must not be a lot of structure in here. Most of it must be, like, up in here and then, like, up in the roof because... All this is like doubled right here. It's all double sheet metal and then same with back here. So I think most of it, most of the structure is like up in the roof, I believe. Let me know down below if you know if most of the structure in these cars are up in the roof. I believe they are. So as far as like all this stuff here, I'm just going to like lay some sheet metal over it and then just like tack it in place, just get it fit up kind of nice. Or like I might bring it like just up to the bar and then like tack it, tig tack it up to the bar and then mig tack it to the plate and then uh, seam sealer the edges. Kind of sucks, but I didn't bring the dogs' leash with me. But I'm sure. So, and I want to go to the skate park, so I might have to just chill in the truck. But it's cooled off a lot over here. There's a ledge right here. This is like the best trick I got. I can't. I about ate shit earlier, practicing on the fun box. But been ollieing up this curb. One more thing before we go. I want to try and land a kickflip for y'all. Oh. Sloppy, but it counts. All right. You boys out this bitch. We took out of shape and too old to get hurt on the skateboard. The way is it so to let you go? Hope you all enjoyed that little bit of editing I did. Don't hate on me too much, just getting used to it, but check out the sheet metal. Kind of hard to see because it is black, but really simple. Got the seam sealer in everywhere too, so that way when we do a burnout, hopefully not as much smoke gets in here. Don't worry about this. I'm going to plate this in and weld actually like a thicker plate to here to kind of like just help support the cage over here. So that'll get sealed up too just at a later date. This thing came out pretty good. The seam sealer was kind of hard to work with, so it was a little sloppy. But it looks good. I just rattle canned the seams black because that's where I wire wheeled it and I don't want it to rust there. So the carpet's going to be going back on it so you'll never see it really. So came out pretty good I'd say. Good enough. And that's where we're going to end this video. Showing you guys the little bit of progress we made. I mean I guess it's quite a bit of progress. Got all the sheet metal done. 
Tomorrow, I'm gonna go ahead and put the axle back underneath the RX-7 so I can push it around. And then next thing on our list is doing the mid plate and the front plate. So that should be pretty fun. And adding a couple bars to the actual cage up front and welding all that stuff in the front side of it. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, do the damn thing. Thank you guys for watching. You guys are awesome. We'll see you guys in the next one.